What's up, everyone? I'm Jazz Borgonzo, and this is What's Next. Two words. Rush Limbaugh. Rush Limbaugh, icon, legend of conservatism uh, for over 30 years. Uh, passed away uh, yesterday um, at the age of 70. He was fighting a long bout of cancer. Um, he was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer in January of last year. Uh, something that um, I know personally uh, from a family member who suffered it and fortunately passed away from it um, a year ago. What can you say about Rush? Um, I don't, I'm only going to talk from me from a personal standpoint regarding Rush Limbaugh. Um, he was my first introduction into conservatism. I kind of knew where I was leaning towards politically. Um, uh, we're talking mid eighties here with, uh, you know, with Ronald Reagan in, in 80 and 84. Um, I started listening to Rush. I think it was in 94 at the age of 24. Um, so there you go. Do the math. Um, but uh, Rush was fearless. He was. Um, this was something new. It was fresh. It was just. It was. It was mind blowing. Um, the things that he was talking about. How steadfast he was regarding the Constitution. Um, regarding how um, he loved our country. Regarding how he supported our military. Uh, there were things, like I said, he, like I said, his, his, his attitude, um, being called, uh, being labeled the most dangerous man in America. Um, one of his catchphrases was a uh, talent on loan from God, uh, which is funny. Um, but no one else was doing what he was doing. No one else was doing what he's doing. When the, uh, fairness doctrine was lifted, um, in the early to mid eighties, uh, when Ronald Reagan basically got rid of that nonsense and said, you know what? Yeah, you can have commentary on your radio, on your radio programs, and you don't have to be forced to have a differing of opinion. You can just, I don't know, say what you feel. Wow. What a concept. Um, Rush took full advantage of it. Um, from what I've read, uh, he started out with 56 radio stations uh, back in 90, I think it was back in uh, 89, 89, 90. And on his final day of his show, it was more than 600 radio stations uh, worldwide to the tune of 27 million people were listening to him. Picture that. 27 million people listening to a man on radio. We're not talking podcasts. We're not talking digital, you know, talking, of course, digital media. We're not talking legacy media. We're talking radio. He is the godfather of conservatism, uh, conservative uh, media, should I say. Because if it were not for Rush, there would not be, uh, you probably wouldn't have the Tucker Carlson's. You probably wouldn't have um, easily. Uh, the Prager Universities, the Ben Shapiro's, um, the, the Stephen Crowder's, uh, you know, the, the Candace Owens, you know, you wouldn't even have libertarians on the radio like Dave Rubin, I mean, on the radio, on, the, on digital media like Dave Rubin, uh, Glenn Beck, The Blaze, um, those of us who actually do podcasting, uh, like myself, to actually have the opportunity to... Um, say uh what we feel to give our opinions if it were not for him um but um we're going to take a little uh look at the story um by breitbart and um we'll go from there let's take a look radio talk legend rush limbaugh dies at 70. Conservative radio legend Lim Rush Limbaugh died Wednesday morning at the age of 70 following a battle with advanced lung cancer. His wife, Catherine, announced 
the beginning of his radio uh, program on Wednesday. Quote, it is with profound sadness that I must share with you directly that our beloved Rush, my wonderful husband, passed away this morning due to complications from lung cancer. Catherine announced. And if I mentioned in the beginning, if I said brain cancer, I do apologize. Uh, Rush passed away due to lung cancer. A family member of mine passed away from stage four brain cancer. Just wanted to uh, clarify. Quote, Rush will forever be the greatest of all time, she added. Yeah, it's, it's, hard, it's, hard, it's hard to dispute. Uh, Limbaugh, host of the Rush Limbaugh show for 32 years, had been battling stage four lung cancer since January 2020. Um, after he, uh, days after he announced his diagnosis, Limbaugh was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Donald Trump during the State of the Union address February 4th of last year. Quote, Rush Limbaugh, thank you for your decades of tireless devotion to our country, Trump told the radio host during the address. Uh, Rush, during his uh, program, periodically updated his audience on his health condition. Uh, this, is a, this is a guy who fought prescription uh, pills. He was a, his addiction to it. He fought it. He beat it. Um, I think it was an inspiration to a lot of people who were going uh, through that. Um, you've had others, uh, famous sports stars like, uh, famous sports, uh, like, like Brett Favre, who was addicted to uh, painkillers. Um, and he fought it. He, you know, he overcame it. Um, quote, I wasn't expected to be alive today, Limbo said. I wasn't expected to make it to October, then to November, then to December. And yet here I am. And today got some problems, but I'm feeling pretty good today. Uh, those like uh, Kevin McCarthy, uh, Steve Scalise, Tom Cotton, and uh, Donald Trump Jr., uh, broadcasters like Lou Dobbs, uh, came out uh, with support. Uh, Limbaugh was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 93, along with the National Audience of Broadcasters Hall of Fame in 98. Um, Five-time winner of the National Association of Broadcasters Marconi Award for Excellence in Syndication and Network broadcasting this is a guy who broke barriers and i mean who just like blew the walls up blew the ceiling up there was no one else like him no one else at that time was doing what he was doing so for him to basically give birth to all of us um is something uh you know, it's something to be proud of. And sadly, he saw the writing on the wall years ago of what was going to come, that there was going to be more government intrusion. And then once social media kicked in, he said, this is where it's going. And sadly, they are going to start cracking down. And they are. Instead of having the freedom to basically speak our minds, to give our opinions, to have civil discourse to have those who disagree with us combat us with debate you have those who basically will basically are telling you to sit down shut up know your place and rush wasn't about that it's the reason why rush never went into uh, well probably one of the many reasons why he didn't go into podcasting into the digital media he stuck with radio he stuck what worked if it ain't broke don't fix it and for 32 years, he dominated the landscape. No other person, digital media or in radio, can touch those numbers that he's put up every single day for 32 years. None. Nobody. There will never, ever, ever be another Rush Limbaugh. Again. Because, you know, what's the old saying? You know, when you made Rush, you broke the mold. That's, that's pretty much it. And with that, God bless you, Rush. God bless you, uh, Catherine, your family. Serious condolences. I'm Jasper Gonzo. This is What's Next. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.